everyone, and you're in my bathroom today because I've just washed my face. I did the video before <laughs> washing my face, and I didn't like it because I was standing here washing my face and watching, you know, previewing it. Didn't like it at all. You guys just get the raw me. I don't edit my videos. I don't change anything. This is just me being me and talking. And this thing looks like huge because it is huge. <laughs> it's comfy and fun. Um, this is my cosmetics video. This is just the face. I'm trying to keep these shorter. I'm still using um, my face scrub, body scrub, toothpaste, whatever you want to use this for. This is a half a cup of coconut oil because it fits in my nifty little jar. I've been using this for over a year. Um, half a cup of coconut oil. I melt it down, add enough baking soda to make a paste. A heaping tablespoon full of bentonite clay. I did up the bentonite clay because I liked it a little higher. Um, and a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt or sea salt. I don't know that it matters too much for your face, but whatever you prefer granularly. And I was watching something the other day where this guy was doing a spoof on the, you know, uses of coconut oil. Saying if you use it as a makeup remover or a face wash, it leaves, you know, slick on your face. How do you get that off? I've never had that problem. I know I look just a little shiny, but that is the camera. It's not reality. It's not slippery at all. Um, if I do have that problem every once in a while, where my skin gets a little oily, I use the Castile soap and wash it, and then put a moisturizer on afterwards. And the only things I, the only products I really use is the Burt's Bees. This is the Burt's Bees Renewal, and I like that around my eyes. And then I have a night cream that I use as just a regular moisturizer. It's the Burt's Bees Radiance Night Cream. And if I wanted another oil, I use almond oil. I have this almond oil here, or um, castor oil. Or castor oil is kind of sticky. I really don't like it. But um, almond oil, argan oil. Um, what else have I used? Vitamin E oil. Very good. I haven't used it that much. And for lip color, I'm still sticking to Burt's Bees. They're you know, a drugstore brand that's an all natural, and I actually really like their lipsticks. I can use it for, you know, kissing on the kids and drinking out of a cup, and it doesn't leave lipstick behind. So I have several of those different colors. Um, I have been known to use a color crayon if I want a darker color, and yeah, they're non toxic. I just, I just rub a color crayon on there. <laughs> so now you guys know how very cheap I am. Um, that's it for the face. I don't really do much else. I do have an all-natural mascara. You guys have seen me you know, using mascara off and on. And I didn't get it out because, you know, the, there's, I think, three basic brands that make an all-natural mascara. should be pretty easy to get just to... I use a waterproof mascara um, just from my store. So I hope you guys have a great day and that that was what you were wanting. <laughs> I haven't really changed a whole lot. I'm just wearing a little bit more makeup. I did mention that I had bought a concealer. It's not really a concealer. I admit it is an all natural BB cream or a primer. I just got it in like one shade lighter than my skin and I use it you know, here where I tend to get the darker under the eyes because I was up all night or woke up early or whatever. So, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Talk at you later. I always make the mistake of saying that. I will talk at you later. <laughs> Bye everyone.